Thank you. We have all had the pleasure yesterday to uh, meet and to hear Major General Yair Golan, but I would like to remind the forum that the Major General is the Commanding General of the Israel Front Command and one of the initiating forces in this conference. The General is a graduate of the U.S. Army War College in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, and also holds a master's degree in public administration from the Harvard University. I'm very proud to invite Major General Golan to present to us the topic of resilience of civilian population during crisis. All right. The only optimistic issue I can deliver is that we are approaching break. <laughs> well, this is the goal of the Home Front Command. Uh, today I'm going to, sp uh, to discuss only the issue of war and pay attention to the underline here, uh, we only contribute. We help, we support, we do not replace, we do not come instead of any civilian entity. This is our goal. And that's because we believe that civilians should be active because active civilians are stronger civilians. And we can provide logistics, we can provide training, we can provide any kind of physical mean because we are part of the army, but we are willing to help, that's all. And from that, let me move ahead straight to the main process during war in the Home Front Command. This is a, an intellectual process, not physical, but still is the most important one while concerning our operations during war. What we have here is very simple. What we have here is, is very simple. We take the threat we take our four, five pillars of civil defense and we analyze, this, analyze them together. The outcome of that is protection policy, which we translate to protection guidelines, which is supposed to be distributed to the overall population of Israel. The outcome of the protection policy is only one, emergency routine. This is a very strange term. This is a kind of uh, oxymoron. That's it, Hazi? Yeah. <laughs> How can you put these two words together, emergency and routine? Well, it's possible because, in fact, there is no other way. War can be lasted for days, weeks, even months. We should keep the most essential manufacturing. We should keep all kind of civil services. How can we do that without having a sense of routine during emergency situation? There is no other way. And we do believe that because the situation is so tough, so difficult, we, the Home Front Command, we are willing to assist it, to support it by civil assistance missions. And the outcome of all that, of course, is resilience. Now let me move ahead and say a few words about if one of the blocks that really build up the overall building of protection policy. Let's start with the threat. I have no pictures here, no numbers, uh, not because it's classified. 
just will take me, you know, an hour to scrutinize all the arsenal of our enemies. But all I can say is that we are dealing with enhanced range that cover all Israel with increased payload which supposed to cause, to cause much more casualties and destruction with enhanced accuracy which is a major threat to the Israeli strategic infrastructure and with increased quantities which means that more and more population will be under threat during war. Well, this is not optimistic, but that's reality. Now, let's go to our five pillars of civil defense. I'll start with the most important one, an effective alarm system. We cannot ask civilians to go to work to keep their duties without providing them a signal that they are under threat and they are supposed to take few and simple measures in order to save their lives. So this is the most crucial element concerning civil defense. These are the principles for effective alarm system. On time, that's clear. In the road, we provide civilians only with 15 seconds. That's all. That sounds not much. What can a human being do in 15 seconds? Well, a lot. It's a hell of a time. That's the difference between being on the street or undercover. That's the difference between standing or laying on the ground. That saves lives. And we have many examples for that from Castle Operation. To everyone, that's clear. In the car, in your home, at work, everywhere. It's a huge challenge. Our cars, well sealed, air conditioning. Our apartments, the same. How can we penetrate 